Remember this surveillance video? A man armed with a knife repeatedly stabbing a gas station clerk, seriously injuring him? Well, now police think they've not only found that violent robber, they've linked him to at least 14 gas station robberies across the metro area. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen digging into this arrest. She joins us live tonight. Jacqueline? Eric, that's much more cases than we thought. And here at this convenience store, they still have the crime alert posted. But we just talked to the clerk, one of the people who was stabbed, and he says he couldn't be happier. The police say the guy who did it is off the streets. One, two, three. Counting the number of times he was stabbed, Zersenheimer Harna is still working at the convenience store where cameras captured every moment of the brutal attack last month. Moments he'd rather forget. I have the tape, but I don't want to watch it. Today, police called him about an arrest, asking him to look at a photo lineup. I'm just glad he's off the street, really. Police say less than an hour after an anonymous tip came in, they arrested Ian Griggs. He's been tied to robberies in at least 14 convenience stores in Denver, Aurora, and Commerce City in the last month. His weapon, a knife. An arrest affidavit obtained by seven news states in one attack, he was using a blade four to five inches long. Police say he stabbed two people, including Zersenai, who escaped from this attack with a few scars and tighter security, but still working today. He says he won't let the person who did this change him. I thought it was just me that was hurt, and I'm sad to hear that somebody else got hurt, but I'm glad he's not out there able to hurt anybody else. And Griggs is in jail in Aurora on charges of aggravated robbery and attempted murder. And I will tell you, the clerk here tells me that he hopes the guy who gave the tip gets his full reward because a lot of convenience store workers will sleep easier tonight. Reporting live in Denver, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Yeah, I bet they will. Thank you, Jacqueline.